place. But anyway, yeah. Sketch Pad Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. This we over 10,000 subscribers. We're trying to reach 100,000. We're going to keep this thing moving. YouTube has, I don't know what they're doing with our channel. I don't know, but we're going to keep on running. And if good things happen, good things happen. But as long as y'all here with us, Stay with us. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep coming with the reactions. We're going to keep coming with the funny videos. Everything. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, I meant to say this the other day. Sorry for our absence. You know what I mean? That we wasn't here. The Joker and Batman took over. But we gonna, we promise that we ain't going to be uh, letting them do that again. I don't know what they did. I got hit in the back of the head. Next thing you know, I was tied up in the... In the uh, yeah, man. I was just... So. I was just sitting down. I was just sitting down chilling. And next thing you know, you know what I mean? Batman put a bag over my head and drug me into another room and then gagged me with a that shirt. And then that was it. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm a fan of Batman, too. Dang, man. I don't know why he did that. Bro. Yeah, you know? man. So just to let y'all know. So, you know what I'm saying? Disregard whatever they talking about because I know they still out there talking crazy. So, yeah. But anyway. We're going to get it to this list, man. Let's go. Who raised you? bar was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh eat each other. what yo i yeah, can't I understand it neither I'm just ahead of it. okay so a group of men made a list of women you should not take on a date hmm. and we gonna start from number 21 and go up to the number one. So number 21 says, woman raised in the West. Uh, I don't know what that means. Woman raised huh. in the West. Not, you no, that means, mean? that, West means Coast women, women? that means women with Western cultures. That's Europe and the United States. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, uh, all right that's cat. You shouldn't, do, you, stay, you should stay away from women. You think that that's cat? <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 Where's your why, wife why, from? Why, why, oh, all right. Well, if you're saying it like that, then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> your wife ain't from over here. <laughs> nah, you man. Cap on us, nigga. Uh, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah my, my, my apologies. I, I, I thought, I overthought, I overthought the answer. I overthought it, and then you know what I mean. Yeah, you, you right. You're right. You know what I'm saying. Too westernized, too westernized is uh is not good. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. It. I agree with that. I don't, yeah. I don't date girls from uh, United States no more. So that's just sorry. Yeah, I mean, she gotta be yeah. special. She gotta be super special, and she gotta yeah. be different. So let's go, let's go to the next one, man. All right, next one, American black woman. That's hard. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, yeah. that is hard. I didn't even see this yeah. list. What? Yeah, that, yeah that's Oh, that's man, crazy. that's kind of hard. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I don't know what to say to that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't. I really don't. Uh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't diss my sisters. I, I just, kinda, I'm kind of on the fence with that. Let, let, listen, I, I'm gonna I'm I'm give her. I'm gonna give a brief explanation, real quick. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give a brief explanation. We're gonna go on to the next one. All right, so I feel that that's kind of disrespectful in a way because, like, you know, what I mean, there are some good sisters out there that are American and black. Just because I didn't marry from down here, don't mean I don't think there's no good black woman down here. But you know what I'm saying? I found I found my 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 heart, and that's where I went. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that that's that. We just gonna end it like that. You she know what I'm saying? Here though. <laughs> nah, she not. She not. <laughs> but 
<laughs> she ain't American but, black. <laughs> she black, but know. she ain't American black. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, listen, up, man. <laughs> listen, man. I kind of, I kind of agree. I'm sorry. I do. It's very difficult to date a black woman nowadays, and I'm not saying all, but. You gotta take universal precautions. <laughs> Everybody's infected. <laughs> Put the gloves on, bitch. Everybody infected. I don't want none of you bitches. <laughs> no, get away from me. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. So I guess that's a no for me. All right. Next one. Yeah. Number nineteen divorcees. Divorces, that's ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a real good How one. How many times uh, you been divorced, bitch? And who broke it off? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Divorces I, I is a good agree. one. Who you saying? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to agree. With, I think I'm gonna have to agree with that one. Yeah, I, I don't agree know with that. that too. I don't want to date no. I don't want to date no widows or no <laughs> chicks that's been divorced. That yeah. especially the ones that getting divorced and then celebrated. Like I seen chicks mm-hmm. get divorced and anything. They having a divorce party, celebrating with their friends. Oh, that's that's the worst. That's yeah, the worst. I agree with yeah. that. Go ahead. Yeah. Number 18, women who have been engaged. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Yeah. A woman that has been engaged, you don't want to take her out on a date or stay away from her? Why? Mm-hmm. Like what if like what if the guy cheated on her and she left him? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't I don't see nothing wrong with that. That's that's that mm-hmm. I, I I'll date a woman that was engaged. Like, come on. Like, no. yeah. I guess they saying if she's it, that was engaged and she and she still still deal with the guy type of thing. But I don't if he's saying mm-hmm. she was, then yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I, I I I I I would date a girl that was engaged. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, number seventeen, woman with list. What, what like a what list? Are we to- yeah, like no, like it says list. Like not list, like list when you talking. It says list. I don't know. That, you- skip that one. That was stupid. Yeah, I understand. Oh, or number. About that. Yeah, number sixteen, woman who have been on. Fresh and fit. <laughs> so you don't indeed a girl that's on fresh and fit. That's so stupid. Yeah. There was some actually real they intelligent that women that was on fresh and fit. A lot. There was a lot of intelligent women that been on fresh and fit. <laughs> I don't that was stupid. Who wrote that? That was dumb. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's probably a fresh and fit hater. Yeah, it kind of um, that was stupid. Yeah. Women that been on Fresh and Fit, it's a lot of bad bitches that was on. <laughs> yeah, yo, mm-hmm. mom, like, mm-hmm. niggas be capping night. No, nigga, stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> what? Come on, bro. Yeah, they bugging out. Uh, okay, uh, number fifteen, woman on dating apps. That's dating hard. Apps. That's that that right there is cat because first of all. There's there's a million dating apps. You got eHarmony, you got a uh, uh, Facebook dating app, Bumble, uh, uh, POF, um, uh, Bingo, Tag, uh, uh, what uh, what's the other one? Christian um, Mingle, Bingo, Christian Mingle, Bingo, uh, 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 it's it's so many, it's so many, and for you to say women has been on dating apps, so. There's some girls on on these dating apps. With, like I'll, I'll give it to you like this: like uh, eHarmony, right? eHarmony probably mm-hmm. is the most respectable, reputable dating app because in order for you to get on there, you have to go through all these series of tests. They ask you the same question. Like I I went through it because I wanted to see what it was like. It's like a hundred questions they ask you. And then they ask you another hundred questions. If just before you even get on the site, because they want to match you to the right person. You know what I'm saying? You just can't sign up and just get on there. Like, no, because you can't just talk to anybody. So mm-hmm. I, I think that's cap. That's cap. Mm-hmm. 
Let's yeah. Go. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so the next one. Number 14, woman with party voice. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means neither. That's stupid. You know I mean? Yeah, that. that yeah, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Please. Number 13, woman who live alone. That's cat. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, that is cat. That's super that cat. cat. You ain't going to date a girl that live by herself? Who she need to live yeah, with? <laughs> like, what? Yeah. So, wait. If she has a child, you don't want to date her. If she lives alone, you don't want to date her. If she lives with her parents, you don't want to date her. If she lives with her man, you don't want to date her. Who the fuck is she supposed to be living with? That's cat. Like, that's cat. Yeah. Yeah, that is cat. That is cat. Come For on. For sure. <laughs> if, if the woman got her own crib, go yeah. on crib, that's a plus. That's who, a who plus. Else, who that she going to means... live with, though? Yeah. Yeah, that's she live with her girls that you'll be like, I ain't dating her. She live with her friends. Her friends are all whores. That's cat. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. Okay, number 12. Women with weak absentee fathers. How would you know that? You if you if you dating a girl, she don't tell you that. How would you know that? That's cat too. Like, that's cat. How would you know that she has a weak absentee father? Like, like, what if her father wasn't, well, her father was there and she just was a knucklehead? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of kids who just don't listen to their dads. Like. Yeah, true. That's cat. I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. Yeah. Number 11. <clears throat> women who drink liquor regularly. That, no. Absolutely not. I'm not dating no chick who is an alky. Yeah. Or, I, I, yeah. I had this, I had this lady and my, this dude, I picked up this dude and he wanted to go, he wanted to go get his girl. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And she got in the car and she was going to the liquor store and she smelled like liquor. Wow. Like, like she wasn't even drunk and she smelled like liquor Damn. coming out of her pores. So no, I'm not, I'm not rolling. No, I'm not rolling. Yeah. That's, that's a turn off for me. I can't, yeah, do I, it. I can't do it. Yeah. I agree with that. Okay, uh number ten. Woman who travel regularly. That's cat. Yeah. That's cat. You ain't gonna date you stay, you ain't gonna date a chick who travel regularly. It, she could be traveling for work. But there's other but it could be other reasons why she travels. She could be traveling because she getting flown out. I can agree mm-hmm. with that if you saying it like that. But you ain't say that. You saying mm-hmm. travel regularly like so what if she travel for work? What if she's a, a satellite nurse? What if she travels mm-hmm. as a nurse? What if she's a stewardess? Like she's going on a plane all the time. She's traveling. Like, and even though I know stewardess be getting it in, I ain't going to lie. But still, <laughs> they mm-hmm. definitely do. <laughs> but, hey, listen. I, I'm on the fence with that one. I don't say that's half cat. Yeah. That's half. It's, cat, it's like cat hanging off the half side of the head. Half cat. Yeah. Yep. Number nine. Models who market to men. What else do models supposed to market to? What? <laughs> who wrote this list? I don't know, man. <laughs> Boy, bro. Thinking. Who it wrote this thinking. list? It wasn't thinking. M- models that market towards men. So what do you, I don't understand what you mean by that. What are you saying? Like, if she's a Victoria's Secret man. model, they they wear the stuff for, the, for men to Men are the biggest consumers of women's stuff when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. I, that's cat, man. I'm not rolling with that one. Yeah, neither am I. Uh, where we at? Okay, number eight. Woman with a hoax of friends. I don't, I don't know. Like a lot means. of friends? I, I guess with a lot of friends. Uh that that's that that's that's I, I'm halfway on that one. Halfway, yeah, I, I don't know. Cause women, cause I put you like this: if a woman like you, she leaving, she really, she really chilling off her friends anyway. Mm-hmm. If she like you like mm-hmm. that, she chilling off her friends. She ain't gonna mm-hmm. be, unless she really, unless she's the, the the, unless she's the leader of the pack. If she ain't the leader of the pack, and even if she is the leader of the pack, and she really like you, yeah, she chilling off her friends. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I think uh-huh. that's cap. 
Yeah, me too. Number seven, woman with purple hair or any other unnatural color. <laughs> that, that, that that's a good one. Be honest with you. Yeah, that is a good agree. one. I, I have to agree. That is like, a good one. Red that maybe. Good. Like if if you know a chick who got like she just dyed her hair red. Okay, maybe. And but purple, green, like dark like light green purple pink nah i can't i'm sorry i can't i can't i could go with red All right. well go ahead yeah no go go finish it now no no i'm done uh, i was done go ahead yeah i could um when they say like i understand the colors or whatever but when they say unnatural colors like women women tend to always braid their hair in different colors, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't necessarily have to be red, pink, or whatever. I've seen women braid their hair with a with a tannish, with a tannish color. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like my my wife, she does it all the time when she gets her hair done. She she has uh, it's not red or nothing. It's like a tannish color. So I'm on a fence with that. Um, also, I've seen I've seen women with you know what I mean. Depending on the color. I've seen women with with like a light reddish type of color, and mm. it didn't it didn't it didn't it didn't look that bad. It looked alright, you know what I'm saying? It looked pretty so you would good. so you would go on a date with them. It depends on how they wear their hair. If it's all flattened out, looking like it's a wig or whatever like that, then probably not. But if it's like braided nicely and designed, pretty, you know what I mean, pretty good. I I probably I probably would let it slide. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Um, okay, so next one. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Okay, so okay, uh number six, woman with non ear pieces. Ear piercing piercings. I don't know I don't know what they mean by that. Yeah, like your ears. Like so ear, like if you got you ever seen Yeah, that? I know they meant you ever seen a woman that has all these ears, like all these piercings in one ear? Oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't know yeah, why they picked I, nine. That's 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 weird. Yeah. Now they said non, non, non ear pe- piercings. Like none. Like I don't know why none. Like yeah, I don't understand none, none. That it's weird. It says women with none ear piercings. Like basically, women, a woman that has no ear piercings. I guess that's what they mean. So uh, they talking about the all cat. natural. That's cat. Yeah. Like no. Yeah. Uh, what would yeah, what, uh, like, what would be the reason why? He said, "Oh, I can't date you because you ain't got no ear no earrings." Like what? Yeah, that would be weird. What if that's she don't weird. Like holes in her ears. What if she used the ones that just snap on? Like mm-hmm. it's got some that's, stuff like that. That's yeah, something. that's weird. So stupid. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Uh, number five. Woman with an IG page. Yeah. Damn, that's hard. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I got I I gotta go around. I gotta go with them on this one. It's it's hard to get around it because every girl has IG. You be you be very hard pressed to find a woman who don't have an IG page. Every chick has an IG page, even if they have Correct. it just just as having it and they don't have no pictures up. Every one of them. The thing about Instagram is Instagram is somewhere that every woman wants to go because they get all the attention <sighs> off of what they look like. Every woman mm-hmm. wants to have Instagram, whether they showing off mm-hmm. their nails or their ass. Every woman wants to have that. So. I would say, yeah, I would date a chick. I would go on a date a chick that has an Instagram page. But if we get serious, I would tell her to delete it, especially if she has like a bunch of bullshit on there. So that's just me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I'm I'm with you on that one. Yeah, if it's a little bit too much, and she's with me, I might tell her like, yo, she gotta get rid of it. You know? But yeah, I'm with you. Uh, number four. Number four. Oh man, this one's a doozy. It says 
workers, our only fan girls, mat uh mattress actors, mattress actresses, strippers, call girls, escorts, Instagram models, bottle girls, etc. I'm not dating none of them. Yeah. I don't even mm. know why they put that on there. Of course we're not going to date them. That's yeah, a that's that, a no-brainer right there. Like nobody's going to date. I mean, no, don't get me wrong. There's some guys out there that do date these girls. But these mm. girls don't take these guys serious because they have 100 million men hitting them up every day. See, when you Facts. got a chick, when you got a chick that who has Instagram, I mean Instagram, OnlyFans, if that's your chick and she does OnlyFans, it's over for you, homeboy. Mm-hmm. You might as well just leave her alone, mm-hmm. because first of all, she she already she already gave herself to the world. There's nothing sacred about her anymore. Now she's basically showing everything to these guys, and even if she stops doing it, people screenshot, they screen record, and all that stuff gets uploaded to Google. So she's always going to be on there. So no, mm-hmm. I hundred percent agree with that. I'm not dating none of them chicks. Bottle girls, now get out of here. No. Yeah. Not doing it. Number three. Number three. Women who dress like this in public. So when you saying like this, what do you mean? Like dress well, like I guess old, they were saying no. What? They what, what what they're saying is the girl that I sent you off that John, they covered this up. And they're talking about the girl that's on the, the one I sent you. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Uh, well, they don't she dress, dress like that, that. That's not dressing like that in public, though. Yeah. Why would she? I, I agree. I agree. I agree. What she had on, of course, you're not gonna date a girl who wears something like that in public. Why would mm-hmm. you? But yeah. I don't think she wore that in public. I think she just took a picture like that. Yeah. I like agree. Walking around with panties on like that in public. Like, come on, bro. Stop it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Number two, women with tattoos. No, that's cat. Yeah. yeah that's a 100% cat. That's cat. Every girl has a tattoo. Yeah. That's cat. I, um, I've dated plenty of females with tattoos. You know how you know it's cat? Yeah. Because if the girl had his name on her, he would love it. That's cat. Yep. Like, come on, bro. Who wrote this? That's ultra cat, right yes. there. Ultra cat. Yeah. And the number one, number one, single mothers. That's cat. <laughs> that's that's cat. It's definitely cat. That's cat. Like, I listen. I I like fresh and fit. I love fresh and fit. They're my favorite guys. I, yeah, you know I mean, outside of our podcast, I think they did the best podcast on YouTube, right? But they, come on, bro. They, 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 they tell guys don't date single mothers, right? And, and but the thing is, you know how hard it is to find a chick who don't have a child. It's very hard to find a chick who don't have a child, and that yeah, will take you serious. True. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So I, so I, 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 I like I said, that's cap. I dated a girl. I dated plenty of women who had kids or who had a child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and I did too, once or twice. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, look, um, I guess I got to say some things and then we get out of here and then you can say something and we get out of here. Um, Here's my thing with this whole thing, right? With the guys list versus the girls list. The girls list was more like, don't take me this place. The guys list is more like, stay away from these type of women. It really wasn't like, like, it's not really the same in a way. It's kind of different on both parts. Mm-hmm. Men and women ain't the same anyway, but I get it. Some of the stuff that the guys list said, it's, same with, it's the same thing with the girls list. The girls list, some of the stuff was just like over the top. You know what I'm saying? And it was more pre- preference than anything. With the guys list, it was more like, okay, um, stay away from these type of girls. But it was more, their list was more of a broader thing that you can't really avoid like that. Like the tattoo thing. Come on. It's, and come on, bro. Stop. You know, and, the, and the single mother thing. Come on, stop. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. With things like that, that's so broad. 
know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It ain't like, she, like, like if they specifically said if she has a tattoo above her ass, stay away from her. Then you could be like, okay, yeah, I understand. Or if they said she has another man tattooed on her, stay away from her. Then I can understand. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But it's kind of like that, that. It's just too broad for me. You know what I'm saying? So I think that in in when it comes to this list, like the other list, the class warfare list, women would do anything if they really liked the guy. In this list, I think if any of those girls that they're talking about show a man interest, all that shit don't even matter what he said. She could be an OnlyFans girl. If she's like, if she's interested in him, yeah, yeah, he's going to forget about that. You know what I'm saying? Quick. If she's like, listen, yeah. I'll stop doing OnlyFans for you because I really like you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Trust and believe. So it's class warfare on both sides. Yeah. I agree. I agree 110%. Uh, it, it's a, it was a lot of contradiction on both lists. A lot of contradiction. I think it was more contradiction on the women's side than it was on the men's side. The men's the men's side, you could kind of tell what what where they were leaning towards for the most part, as far as like who to stay away from, as far as females. The women's side, it, I, it, it just seemed like whoever written that list just put every just just threw stuff on there because a lot of the stuff didn't make any sense to me. You know what I mean? And and, and some of the things they listed were kind of under the same category. They were no different than the last answer, so it was like. What what are you talking about? So yeah, but I, but you know, I I, I could kind of agree with you, um. I but I do believe that, um, I might have to say the men's had more cap on their list because it was shorter and a lot of stuff that they said to me was just more, it was just like I said it was just too broad. Like with the girl stuff, I can understand because females are weird and they like they like certain things, but. Not one thing on here said um, if you have children. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Like, um, mm-hmm. like, but it wouldn't say that because basically, it's basically they're saying, don't take me on a first date. So I get it. So both of these lists, I think the list was more for the woman. The women was a little bit much, much, much different. But I do believe that if you add, if you tally them up, I think that the I mean, I don't know. I think it's about equal. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. Like I said, man, that was a good one, man. We'll be back. Yeah. I mean, Sketch Pair Podcast. We out of here. See y'all. Peace.